What's going on, world? This is your boy, Kuya P. This is NRW Nerds, rule the world. And as you see on the screen, I have a special guest. I'm so delighted. I have the writer, director of Miranda's Victim, Michelle Danner. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate you. I know you just are fresh from Europe uh, on your travels, spreading the word about this film and its importance in its content. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I know how it is to just be traveling, traveling and talking all the things. So thank you for just giving me this bit of space to and to tell my people about this project and, and its importance. So uh, let's get right into it, Michelle. Um, how did it start for you? I I'm curious, you know, as a filmmaker myself, you know, there's certain things of inspiration that happen and then you put pen to pad or fingers to keyboard and you just go on the idea and then you, you know, get all your fellow creative friends and you get going. This one has such importance in history and, and its subject material. How, how and why did you want to, tell this film about Miranda rights? Well, George Kolber, uh, it all started with him during COVID, asked the question about the story. Like, where did this story come from? What happened to the victim? And he researched it and, uh, and he found out that this, um, this was a unique story that had never been told about a very courageous young woman called Patricia Weir, who in 1963, had the courage to basically tell her stories, even though it was 1963 and she was within the confines of, you know, her family and keeping things quiet and not ruining, risking ruining her life by telling what happened. Um, he sought me out, George sought me out and I went and I met with him a few times. Um, so the, the project came to me, was offered to me. I remember distinctly seeing it on the email on a Sunday night. And I remember immediately thinking, wow, this has never been told. This story is unique. This is important. And I answered right away. Usually I would wait until I get in the office with, you know, my team and we would answer. But I answered right away. I said, yes, I'm intrigued. Send me more. And I found out more about the story, a great story about justice, which are, you know, something we can all relate to. And and want to fight for. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, the rest is history. It, it fell into place. You know, when you look back at your life and you see the projects that you want so much to happen and you push for them and somehow they they just don't happen. And then there's just, you know, projects that fall into place because they're meant to be. I think this was a meant to be um, that this should happen. And of course, you know, it, it, we had a great time shooting it. We shot it about a year ago. And, uh, you know, of course, there's all the trials and tribulations. Means right now we're trying to figure out where, when is the release for it um, because of, of the SAC strike and, uh, and our actors, you know, wanting to, to publicize it. So we will see what, what happens. Um, but it is such an important story. Uh, and everybody agreed and everybody that saw it. We had a premiere at the film festival in Santa Barbara. We were actually the opening night movie. There were over 2,000 people were in the audience in a historical theater in Santa Barbara called the Arlington Theater. And a lot of our cast came out to support. Um, and everybody wrote about it and, and certainly and agreed. The performances are stellar. The story is important. So I'm, I'm hoping that a lot of people will will watch the movie. I hope so too. And hopefully this will start the buzz along with that, Michelle. Um, so I want to stay in that pre-production. So George Cobra, I believe is the, the, the yes. gentleman's name. He comes yes. to you with this. What, what for you in particular struck a chord as a creative yourself? And um, I, I'm a fan of history. I'm a student of history. I think we need to learn from history. And I try to put that in my work so we cannot make the make the do the same wrongs that happened before and learn from them and strive for better and change the world um what was that for you in wanting to get across this message so you get the script from Colbert, you go into pre-production you 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 get it all laid out what were the important elements when you were you know casting and getting this film together that you really wanted to hit like this had to be it to just really make this a sex film and get the message across well I'm, you know, my background is acting. I'm an acting teacher. Uh, I'm also an actress. And, uh, you know, so I, I believe that, listen, uh, I take my kids to watch 
all of the action movies and you know but after a while there's just so many things you can watch blow up there are so many special and visual effects you know if, if there's not a, a first of all a good story which this had and secondly you know the actors that that are able to to illuminate the writing and uh and make people feel again i can you know be very impressed with all kinds of effects but at the end of the day i want to feel something i want to be moved by the story and only the actors can really do that you know they can bring it to life it's an interpretive art um and so to me it was important the casting aspect of this was really important you know who were the right actors to play these parts and uh, and i spent a lot of time thinking about it and you know uh, working on it and looking at different tapes and you know ideas so at the end i think everybody agrees that we were so lucky and i still am processing this extraordinary cast that came to be part of this and and, and understood that this was such an important story to tell so let's talk about this amazing cast as you see i have some of the posters behind me um number one i would say your lead abigail breslin Abigail Breslin. What can I say about Abigail Breslin? She's a phenomenal talent from when I'm sure she was in diapers. That's why she was nominated for an Oscar when she was nine years old in the iconic, you know, movie Little Miss Sunshine. She's a wonder to work with. She's a very passionate young lady. She's really, really smart. Um, she's very creative. I remember distinctly, I've told now this story like a million times, but I distinctly remember having on my desk all the pictures of all these, you know, 18 year old, young, up and coming, you know, starlets and established young actresses. And then for some reason, there was Abigail there. And I said to myself, stop screwing around and just cast a real actress. And the rest happened fairly quickly. We made an offer. She read the script like right away. We met for coffee the day after. We looked at each other and we say, we're going to tell the story together. Um, I've had nothing but an extraordinary experience with her. As a matter of fact, we're collaborating in another movie right now. Um, she's phenomenal. And everybody that has written, that has seen the movie, talks about particularly about her performance because she's the cornerstone. You know, she's the spine of the story. Um, and she just you know comes through and shines in it and she does i uh, uh, i've seen a lot of her work and i can't wait to see her in this um the miranda i i believe sebastian quinn um who's the other element of this story um i've not i'm not familiar with his work can, can you tell me a little bit about him well, he's a newcomer. As a matter of fact, you know, when we did Q and A's together, uh, him and the rest of the cast, he was like, you know, I'm, I, I'm new to this. Uh, but that was on my part intentional. I wanted to cast an actor that was not well known. There were a lot of actors, you know, were proposed to me, uh, but I really wanted someone that has was was not too well known. Uh, the real Ernesto Miranda in real life was 26 years old. Uh, Sebastian's not far away from that age. Um, and uh, the, the fact that he looks a little bit like him was not intentional. It just happened. More importantly, I was looking for the acting. I was looking for a certain feel. And I had auditioned a lot of actors. And when I saw his, his tape, uh, I knew that it was him. Love it. Love it. Ah, I can't wait to see all of this. Um, and the rest of this amazing cast, uh, as you see behind me, uh, everybody, uh, Luke Wilson, Ryan Felipe's in this, Andy Garcia, just Donald Sutherland. What an insane cast, Michelle. Um, amazing. Know, uh, Donald Sutherland. I mean, he was the first one that said yes. And immediately I felt there was an angel overlooking the movie because, first of all, Donald Sutherland, my whole entire life reminded me of my father. Uh, and he was one of my very, very favorite actors of all time. Uh, he is. Um, and uh, so the fact that he came to do this, and he's so brilliant in it, uh, I just have no words for that. Andy Garcia, oh my God, I've had a crush on Andy Garcia my whole life. And he's such an extraordinary actor. And he came, and, and Ryan Felipe was wonderful in it, and Luke Wilson, and everybody, you know, uh, Mireille Inos, the extraordinary actress that plays the mother of Patricia Weir. I had seen her and the actor Brandon Sexton in a show called The Killing. 
wonderful show and she's just you know and I then I remember that I saw her on Broadway do Honey and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf years ago um and then there's Emily Van Cam and Josh Bowman that are also in it um I remember watching the show Revenge uh Orange is the New Black Taryn Manning who's you know she gives a great performance Nolan Gold we watched him grow up in Modern Family he was just perfect for that part and he hit all the right notes Dan Loria who I've known forever I've worked with him in another movie and went to see him on, on Broadway when he did Lombardi and off Broadway um and, you know I'm sure I'm forgetting people there was just a Kyle um Kyle McClocken I mean, Kyle McClocken, you know, it's a legend. Yes. So it was just, you know, I don't know how this all came together, but it did. And, um, and we all set out to tell this story, you know, that has deep meaning. And it's a wonderful story about justice. And then there's a huge twist of it at the end when people will watch the movie, you know, karmic justice exists as well. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I can't wait. Such a stellar cast michelle uh, uh amazing amazing and, and the importance of this story is so amazing what has uh i'm already seeing uh, and as you stated you you've already kind of taken this around a little bit to some of the festivals uh very soon hopefully fingers crossed we'll get a wider distribution and all the actors can talk about it because we all deserve that love and support for putting together that work uh, i can't wait for them to receive that from the work you've done um the what has the reception been and just the feedback in regards to the importance of the story now kind of, you know, I never knew this was a thing. Well, I knew of Miranda rights. We all know that, you know, but just the, the, the details behind that. So you bringing this to light is amazing. And I, when, whenever, whenever films like this come out, I'm like, I start doing my research. I start Googling and learning all the things and to just help educate the world is just such a beautiful thing and the blessing that we get as artists with the work that we do. And so I thank you for, for educating me with this material. Thank you so much. Yes, I think that uh, it's it's a subject of conversation that's important. You know, before the Me Too movement, there were uh, people, you know, that were courageous enough to come forth and, uh, you know, and really speak out and, and have their voice be heard. And this is uh, absolutely a story about that. I can't wait. I can't wait. So yeah, um, I, I love that we're going to be getting it very soon. And, and then hopefully the actors, again, we're in a we're currently in a strike right now that they'll be able to celebrate all of their hard work and be compensated for their hard work. I gotta say, as writers, as creatives, you know, uh, that's what we're fighting for right now. Um, but this looks like an amazing film and I just can't wait to dig into it, Michelle. Um, if we can, real quick, I know you said you have another project with Abigail. Uh, very soon is there anything that we can also show some love and light onto some other projects you have going on as well as your acting school when i was looking you up and learning all about michelle danner i'm like what if i was over there i would i, I would want to sign up and learn from a great one like yourself well i'm you know lucky enough that i have oh, oh. you hear my little dog in the background i have it with zoom <laughs> a lot of dogs were shooting from home in between movies, uh, I have two schools that I founded. One is the Los Angeles Acting Conservatory, which offers conservatory programs to actors in the U.S. and all over the world. And the second one is uh, the Michelle Danner Acting Studio. And I have a really a wonderful faculty of teachers, and we're all, you know, passionate about passing down the knowledge to to the next generation of artists so that's that's great because in between movies i go back i teach you know i i talk i, I share things um i'm uh, i'm always so happy to do that and i teach also internationally all over the world um i was just in iskia now i wasn't teaching but we were showing miranda's victim at the iskia film festival that beautiful island in italy close to uh, naples and, and sardinia um I am in uh, in pre-production for a movie. I am so sorry about that. No but worries. The Italians. She wants her star. Uh, I'm not interested in her, he or she, but I'm sure she wants her spotlight too. <laughs> we have that all the time. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, it's so interesting. I have this dog, Chocola, that's with me, travels with me everywhere, every hotel room, every train, plane, boat. You never hear a peep from him. And then all of a sudden he's home and he's very vocal. He has to be very protective. No worries. But, uh, but uh, no, it's been just a great trip in Europe. <laughs> 
it's been um, everything, uh, you know, just fell into place just now. And um, I, uh, I love traveling. I, I love traveling. I love talking to actors all over the world. Um, that's just uh, something I love connecting, you know, with artists. Um, I'm excited that I'm about to, you know, we're going to wait to see what happens with SAG and we're going to get a waiver, hopefully, not good. I think we will, uh, to, you know, a lot of waivers are, are being granted, which is great. So it doesn't, you know, stop, you know, what is happening. We've been working on this movie about family uh, and I, it's called The Italians. I, I hope that at the end of it, people are going to want to go hug their families and eat some great Italian food. I was just in Italy right now eating some really pretty extraordinary Italian food. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, there's a lot, uh, a lot going on. I'm certainly hoping and knocking wood again that the WGA strike and the SAG strike finds, you know, a way to resolve itself so people can get back to work because right after, you know, the heels of COVID, uh, I think people long to have that stability. Yes, it's our escape from what's going on in the world. And we, as filmmakers, as creatives, deliver on that escape. So thank you so much, uh, Michelle, for talking about Miranda's Victim. I cannot wait to see it. Such an amazing yeah. cast. And all these other projects, the Italian. Oh, I used to live in Sicily. So you got me hungry and for some good Italian yeah. food right now. Um, I can't wait to see that film. I can't wait to see this film and just talk all the things. When that happens, I would love to have you back to discuss that film as well. Um, I will put in the description below all the links, everybody. So you can go check out Michelle. You can go follow, find out when all of the projects are dropping. Make sure you do all the follows on her Twitter or Instagram. And, and if you live in Hollywood, go learn from a great one. Michelle is amazing. Um, I wish I could go and learn from her. Um, this has been a pleasure, Michelle. Thank you so much. Everybody, Miranda's victim. I am Puya P. This is Nerds World World. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank Bye. you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of day. Thank you. Bye, guys. All right, there's a cut. There's a